Commander, welcome back to Ayakath. I'm glad you're safe. What's the latest? The war's heating up with every passing minute. You didn't tell us you had company. Our trigger-happy friends sent these assassins, so I took them captive. I told you I'm no assassin! I've come to deliver a message from the Republic. And you are? Captain Ilara Dawn of the Republic. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. You're looking more potent than ever, my lord. Quinn, is that you? In the flesh. I thought I'd never see you again. The feeling is mutual, my lord. But perhaps we can save the displays of affection for a more private setting. After the war, preferably. I'm on a time-sensitive mission. Supreme Commander Malcolm wants a word with you. In private. Empress Asina requests the same. But unlike Malcolm, she's open to a group conference. I have so many admirers, and so little time. We'll keep this brief. Thank you for extending the Empire this honor, Commander. The Republic's glad to see you, and my son, on Iogath. Keep me out of this, Malcolm. Enough! Supreme Commander Malcolm, Empress Asina. Your armies have started a war over a superweapon of immeasurable power. Why would you risk everything over a single weapon? I take full responsibility for the Republic's actions, but I won't apologize. This ought to be rich. It's no secret the Eternal Empire nearly wiped out the Republic. We're struggling to rebuild and protect ourselves. The superweapon on Iocath is the key to the Republic's survival. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna watch it fall into the Empire's treacherous hands. I didn't come here to be insulted. Choose your next words carefully, Malcolm. I know you've spilled your share of Republic blood, but that's in the past. Join forces with the Republic. Help us defeat the Empire, and we'll share access to the superweapon, and all of Iocath. The Empire is already my ally. Why should I break that bond to side with you? Asina tried to steal the superweapon out from under your nose. In my book, that's grounds to dissolve your partnership. He has a point. This is absurd. We acted to stop the Republic from raining destruction on our heads. Yours too, Commander. You once fought for the Empire as a wrath personified. Now you can embrace that power once more. Help us crush the Republic threat. Once they fall, our empires can both partake in the spoils of Iokath. You've worked with the Empire more recently. What do you make of Asina's offer? We've already allied with the Empire. If we turn against them now, what message does that send to the rest of our followers? It tells them we don't honor agreements with traitors. Don't forget, she trespassed on Iocath without your permission. A small transgression. If I had to choose, I would join forces with the Empire. The Republic's a safer bet. The choice is yours, Commander. Who shall we side with? We will ally with the Sith Empire. A wise choice. Sith never listen to reason. Dorn, do it! For the Republic! <laughs> she got away. We'll deal with her later. Commander, the Republic has launched their attack. Fight back with everything you've got. We're on our way. Quinn, I need you here, defending my base. We'll catch up soon, I promise. I'll hold you to it, my lord. Come back safely. May the Force serve us all. <laughs>